Hello, everyone. This is Eric from Etiquette, not from Etiquette, from the best English learning channel. Welcome, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to talk about some more grammar. We're going to talk about the simple present tense versus using um, the present continuous tense. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'll give a couple of minutes for you to join. You can ask some questions. You can say hello. And then I'll start with a lesson. And in between, I'll take some breaks to answer some of your questions and towards the end. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here. It's nice being back doing live streams again. Um, yeah, it's uh, really fun. I enjoy it. So if you're there, you can say hello. Sorry about my hair. I just uh, did some kickboxing, took a shower, no wax. Um, I think you guys deserve seeing me with wax at some point, but uh, that's how it is. Okay. Um, yeah. So today our topic is the simple present tense versus the present continuous tense or the present progressive tense. Uh, I see we've got Masuma here. Hi, Masuma. Good to see you. I'm very well, thank you. Um, I'm just working during the week, writing some scripts, and I'm also doing kickboxing. Uh, oh, 10 days later, I'll go on a trip to the Philippines, which I'm very excited for. Um, <laughs> thank you. Looking good. Dira, how are you doing? Hi. Okay, uh, everyone, so you can post your questions, you can um, share your opinion, and I'll get started with the lesson. Okay, so first, the simple present uh, tense versus the con present continuous tense. Let's quickly take a look at when we use these. Give me a second. Here we go. Okay, so the simple, the simple present tense is used for things which are repeated, part of a routine or permanent. And the present continuous tense is used for things that are temporary or may, may change. Okay, so uh, I always tell my students when, when I'm teaching them one of the, the tenses, I like to give them some examples. So every day I brush my teeth. And that is a routine. Every day the sun rises. If it's only one, it gets an S or an ES at the end. The present continuous tense is am R plus ING. I am speaking. I am reading. And it also helps when you ask your students to explain what their friend is doing. My friend is watching so that they can practice that. So when to use the present tense for stating facts whales feed on plankton, <laughs> phytoplankton, for repeated regular actions and habits, I drink coffee every morning, the train arrives at the station on the hour, after conditional clauses like if, when, as soon as, until, or situations, we will wait for her until she comes. What will you do if you fail your exams? When do we use the the present continuous tense for something that is happening right now. We are waiting for the airplane. The, econ the economy is adding new jobs every quarter. I am reading a book. Also, for potential or unknown future plans or schedules, what are you doing tonight? I'm not going out to the bar tonight. I can definitely say I'm not going out to the bar. And then we're going to open up the book that we regularly use. And I've got it in the description down there, so you can check it out. Oh, we've got Tanvir here. Hi, Tanvir. Martin. Hi there. Martin is coming to Korea soon. I was just chatting with him. Zubair, good to see you. Okay, everyone, let's check out the book. If you want the book, it's called, what is it called? Basic. <laughs> Sorry. Now I need to remember what the book is called. I put it in the description below. It's called Essential Grammar in use. Okay, so let's quickly check out the book. Oh, sorry, I need to present, stop screen. Give me one second. Let me quickly fix this up. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Okay, and I'm just going to make myself a little bit smaller so you can see the screen better. I like to share it like this. Uh, let's see, is it working well? Yes. Okay. So here we go. I am doing and I do the present continuous versus the present simple tense. Jim is watching television. He is not playing it, the guitar. 
the negative. But Jim has a guitar. He often plays it and he plays very well. Jim plays the guitar, but he is not playing or he isn't playing the guitar right now. Is he playing the guitar? No, he isn't. Does he play the guitar? Yes, he does. Okay, so the present continuous I am doing now at the time of the speaker. Here's the past and now. Please be quiet, I'm working. Not, please be quiet, I work. Tom is having a shower at the moment. Take an umbrella with you, it's raining. You can turn off the television, I'm not watching it. Why are you under the table? What are you doing? The present simple, I do, in general, all the time or sometimes. So it, it's always happening at a certain time or it's always happening. I work every day from 9 o'clock to 5.30. Tom has a shower every morning. It rains a lot in winter or it rains a lot during winter. I don't watch television very often. I don't often watch television. You can say that too. What do you usually do at the weekend? I like to say, what do you usually do on the weekend? We do not use these verbs in the present continuous form. So these words, we can say, I am loving, I am understanding, I am liking. This is very important. I've seen many people use it. Um, we just say, I like, I love, I want, I know, I understand, I remember, I depend, I prefer, I hate, I need, I mean, I believe, I forget. We don't say, I am liking, I am preferring, I am hating, I am needing, right? So very important about these ones. This is a common mistake many students make. Use the present simple only with these verbs. I want, do you want, do you like? I'm tired, I want to go home. Not, I'm wanting to go home. Many students make this mistake. Do you know that girl? Yes, but I don't remember her name. I don't understand. What do you mean? You're not going to say, what are you meaning? Okay. So answer these questions about the pictures. I am a photographer. Does he take photos? Yes, he does. What is he doing? He's having a bath. Oh, sorry. Uh, what is he doing? He's having a bath. Is he taking a photograph? No, he isn't. Ooh, wait, give me a second. This hasn't happened in a while. Ah, it's so bad when you order. It's probably going to go off in a second. Okay, so um, we say photograph, photographer, photography. Uh, it's just how we pronounce that. Is she driving a bus? No, she isn't driving a bus. What is she doing? She is playing the piano. She's playing a piano. Does she drive a bus? Yes, she does because she is a bus driver. Does he clean windows? Yes, he does. What is he doing? He is cleaning the windows. Is he cleaning a window? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's just the short answer. Or you can say, yes, he is cleaning a window. Are they teaching? No, they aren't teaching because they are watching TV. What, are, what do they do? They, well, I, I think what do they do? They watch TV or you can say they, they are teachers. Do they teach? Yes, they do. Put in am, is, or are, or do, don't, d does, doesn't. Excuse me, do you speak English? Where's Anne? I want to know. What's funny? Why are you laughing? What does your sister do? She's a dentist. It is raining. I don't want to go out in the rain. Where are you from or where do you, oh, sorry, where do you come from? Where do you come from? Canada. How much does it cost to phone Canada? George is a good tennis player, but he doesn't play very often. Put the verb in the present continuous tense or the present simple. 
Excuse me, do you speak English? Where's Tom? He is having a shower or he's having a shower. I don't watch television very often. Listen, somebody is singing. We listen right now. Sandra is tired. Does she, she, uh, she wants to go home now. She wants to go home now. How often do you read a newspaper? Excuse me, but you are sitting in my place. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Can you speak more slowly? It's late. I want to go. Oh, wait. It's late. I'm going home now. Do you want to come with me? Or you can say, are you coming with me? I think that sounds better because it's the same. I'm going home now. Are you coming with me? What time does your father finish work in the evenings? So we use does because he does it very often. So we're going to use the simple present. You can turn off the radio. I'm not listening to it. Where's Paul? In the kitchen. He is cooking something. Martin doesn't usually drive to work. He usually walks. Sue doesn't like coffee. She prefers tea. Okay. Uh, stop sharing. And here we go. Okay. Oops. I forgot to take this one off. Everyone, uh, let's see who's here. I hope that was useful. Hi from Algeria. Ilias, hello. Uh, Gafford uh, from Bangladesh. Hi, Marta. It's been ages. How have you been? I forgot to take these off. Right. So uh, everyone, every day I'm going to try and do one of these lessons. Um, I like to prepare and go through the grammar. So just a quick live stream, not on the, not like the normal live streams we usually do. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And tomorrow I will do this again. But I think I will start anywhere from perhaps in 23 hours, in 23 hours or 22 hours, I will just randomly start. So um, I hope you have a lovely day or evening and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Kiro, pink hand waving. Bye-bye.